Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky Hey, what's up loves? Welcome back to my channel It's Akosia Behini and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything and telling you everything about my YouTube studio. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys about everything from lightning to my microphone to my... I'm trying to think of what else I have. Because <laughs> really, I just have lightning, microphone, backlight, background, props. So yeah that's all i'm going to be telling you guys about so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please it's free we don't charge ain't nobody gonna take your card all right so just subscribe to my channel it's free hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so you're notified whenever i put up a new video so you don't miss out as much as it doesn't work as like sometimes just just hit it all right just hit it also if you want to see how i created this look it's like really pretty cutie bubby doll type of makeup i have it up on my channel by now if i don't i mean i think i do but if i don't it will be up on my channel anytime soon it is just me recreating my traditional marriage makeup and doing things that i wish that i had done differently that day so it was up by now i'll link it here so you check it out but if it's not, let's get right into the video. So let me first get this out there. Everything that I have here and everything that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video are props or equipment that I have been gathering over time. I didn't just like up. I can't afford these things like these things right there. Then I mean, even if I can afford it, I don't think that I want to like uprightly buy it because it will just mess with my budget so starting out on youtube i just like started buying things little by little and like i started buying the things that i needed the most so the first thing that i got in like my whole filming setup is my ring lights i've always had a ring light i've had a ring light for a while because going to makeup school i needed a ring light to work on my clients and to be like a professional makeup artist, there were some props and like some equipment that you needed to have in order to be priced in a certain way. So I have had a ring light for a long time. So enough of the ring lights. Let me just go straight and talk about my lightning. I have four different, I'd say five plus natural lights, but I have four artificial lightning equipment and then I have extra backup for natural light. So with my lightning i'm gonna first talk about the first two tall lights that you guys are looking at right now there are two umbrella lights that i got from amazon almost everything that i have i also got from amazon so i will leave links in the description box below because these things are like super affordable and very good for anyone who's starting out on youtube so these two lights came actually as a set of three I have one behind me as i mean i have one behind my filming area i mean behind me when i sit down to film <laughs> so i put that behind me when i sit down to film and i put these two on the on each side of my ring lights just to give me extra lights they came in as umbrella lights so they come with two umbrellas two like long tripods for the lights they they, they come with two bulbs not like three bulbs because that extra tri tripod is supposed to be just an extra tripod for i mean it was just an extra tripod the third light wasn't supposed to come in the description they said two lights so i was actually impressed that they added a third light which became very helpful because i didn't even think i needed a backlight till i put the lights there and usually when i'm filming this is how the setup looks like i have my ring lights in the middle these lights are honestly not branded so i'm not sure if i can tell you guys which brand but like i said i will leave links to everything down below so whether branded or not you'll still be able to get it to buy if you want to try to buy i haven't had to change the bulbs since i got them i got them somewhere in like 
november last year i guess i think the the month i think a month before christmas or two months before christmas and i still have it i still haven't had to change the bulbs the lightning still works good the tripods still work good like no faults it's just it, it just works perfectly the next thing i'm going to talk about is my ring lights so the ring light that i use currently is from a brand called ivc i don't know if it's ivc or evc however you want to call it but it's an 18 inch ring light and it's like the regular ring light that we all see or know or have it, it comes with the white light filters and then the yellow light filters and comes with a bag a carrier bag it comes with um yeah it comes with a tripod the plug and just like the regular 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 ring lights accessories and i am going to also be mentioning the prices as i move along the two lights that i talked about which came with the third lights that i have on my back i got those for about 30 to 35 dollars nothing more than 35 dollars for all three of those lights which to me is good very good price in my opinion because you get two umbrella lights one extra light two bulbs that's enough for 30 you guys know it's enough for 30 so i got that for nothing more than 30 35 dollars nothing more than that also my ring lights i got for i think 79 dollars close to 80 dollars ish ring lights very steady very good it's not as weak as the one that i used to have from newa the one that i used to have from newa was very like fidgety and like it used to like shake very quick and the knobs go lose easily so i've used newer before this is not newer this is from my vc and i'm actually i'm actually very happy that i got this one from my vc because the newer one was just like acting too much and then over to the phone mounts that i use to hold my phone in place for recording i this one i actually just got from amazon yesterday it's the kiwi photos kiwi it's a smartphone stand so it's like a stand that you attach to your tripod and vlog or you attach to your ring light and film so it, it's really nice and also really steady i like how this particular one is as compared to the one that i was using before that like the one i was using before is very feeble like i don't like it at all i got that on amazon as well so amazon can be really tricky when it comes to buying equipment it will just like give you a whole lot of ideas and expect you to magically know which one is good sometimes even the one that they say amazon choice is really not amazon choice like amazon choice you know so you gotta really make do your research when you're buying equipment and like need to know what actually works so this kiwi thing i also got for like seven dollars on amazon and you can do the horizontal flip or the vertical flip so i can do instagram videos youtube videos however i want to position my phone this stuff makes it really easy and it's like it's pretty elongated so it's not like i don't know if you guys get it but it gives me like enough amount of length enough amount of length to like space space between my ring lights i don't know if you guys get it but from between my ring lights to like where i want my phone to be positioned it gives me the perfect amount of space to do that so it's not short it's not too tall it's just perfect where i need it to be the next thing will be my microphone so i'm currently using the rode video micro and this is like a vlogging microphone everyone who does like a lot of move, movements use shotgun cameras a, no shotgun microphones this is a shotgun microphone from Rode, and the one that i used to use before is a lapel mic from boya so also i'll show a photo of it right on the screen so that you guys can see boya the boya lavilia microphone also i got that from amazon for nothing more than 20 dollars if you're looking for a good microphone to buy for youtube for twenty dollars for anything not more than twenty dollars then definitely choose the boya microphone the boya lavalier microphone is everything it has like a very long let me just take it out so that you guys see i am hoping that ah, okay great this is how it looks like it's pretty tangled right now because i don't use it but 
it just comes with the lavalier microphone that you can clip onto so what i do is that i just click clip this onto my dress and then attach it to my phone with the external adapter thingy and i just record and this stuff is really nice it's long enough to like have me go outside my room and come back like it's long enough i can go outside my room and still have it clipping onto my dress and then it won't detach itself like it's that long so if you're looking for a microphone that is like pretty affordable then it's definitely a lavalier microphone from boya i'll link that i'll link that down below but the one that i'm using currently is the rode video micro from rode and it's a shotgun microphone so what a shotgun microphone does is that it picks sound from anything that's directly in front of it so it's i attach it to my to the mount that holds my phone so and then i plug it into my phone so it picks up the sound directly from me and then from my phone as my phone is my phone is filming the video and it comes with the whole attachment and everything and you guys already know Rode video mic is the mic. Rode is the mic for YouTube. Rode is the mic that every YouTuber recommends for using for YouTube. So I definitely was going to get this eventually after I got the Boya microphone. Also, I got this for $58. Nothing more than $60. Wait, $68 or $58? 58 it was nothing more than 60 dollars i think i remember 58 dollars for the road video micro and in my opinion is it's good for someone who's starting out and can afford a 58 dollar microphone honestly and you can use this for i can use this for my camera i can use this for vlogging for anything i can use this even when i have two extra people sitting with me because we're directly in front of it so it will pick up the sound which comes from in front of it so if it makes sense yeah and then the next thing that i'll talk about is my shutter remote so this one i also got from amazon randomly i don't know honestly i don't think this brand is even a brand a shots i don't even know a shot b i don't know but it works perfect it works good it comes with a button here that you can just like press to record and stop the recording you can also use it to take pictures it has an on and off button here it has an external like attachable strap so it's just and i got this for six dollars i guess i think six dollars as well and the battery i haven't had to change the battery i got it last year as well i haven't had to change the battery it still works good i used to have a one before this and i kept having to change the battery and the button here just got like very hard at a point you had to like keep pressing before it works it was just very stressful but this one works good and i haven't had to change the battery or do anything so i love it now to my background if you guys look at my background right now i have photos like frames hanging on my wall and i just have different photos in them i honestly just got this idea randomly i wanted a background i didn't know what to do with my background i usually like for my background to be very plain either white or like just a plain color because in my opinion i felt like everything in your background just sort of just sort of takes attention from you the person when you're filming but i got it all wrong after i did my background i realized that it makes a lot of difference in like bringing life to your video so i did my background i started out using the frames it was just the frames and then i moved on to adding this tree right here to it and it just makes a whole lot of difference i got this tree from the salvation army family store so i'm pretty sure it was someone's stuff that they didn't like anymore but i like it now so find us keepers <laughs> and then the frames i got them from dollar store so i just got empty frames and then i printed out images that i saw on pinterest which i feel bad about it because every artist needs credit for their work but it's on the internet so you can't blame me so i printed them out put them in there and then just sort of like arranged them not in any particular order i just arranged them and then put the plan there and then it just made sense and then plus my lightning i have lights there so if you're seeing that my background looks slightly glowy then it's because of the light that i have there if i actually put off the light you guys will see that it makes a whole lot of difference i'm just being careful so that it doesn't burn me because it's hot do you guys see it looks pretty bad <laughs> 
but with no light and light so you see it makes like so much difference when i have the lights at the background so the lights like i said came with the two extra lights that i have in front of me which like i said again is like a very good price for 30 dollars. now when you guys come to my filming area i mean my space itself where i sit i just sit in my like a regular chair and i have the fair cloth over it and then on my table i have my brushes set out like i've set out my makeup and then i also put my laptop in the middle when i have to edit and also you guys can see this hard disk this very old school hard disk that i have here is a hard disk that i've had for a long time it actually belongs to my husband he's had it since before he even met me and he still has it and i'm using it now my child will use it <laughs> I'm just kidding but this hard disk is really good so i work off the hard disk i don't work on my computer because it's just like a lot for the computer to take and then over here i have my brushes and then over on the right or left i don't know but wherever you're watching it it's right here i have my skincare basket where i just like have all the product that i use on my skin in and then underneath my table i have like this plastic drawer situation that i use that i use to like store my stuff that i don't use on a regular and stuff that i haven't yet to use and also i have some pr box sitting on top of it and then down here i have like my hair tools i have some hair tools i have them usually hanging out here but i think the pins broke i didn't even realize so they're just lying down here and then on the other side of the wall i just have these like sticky notes where i've written positive quotes and then like words of affirmation that i love to see every day i just have them laid out right next to me on the wall and so yeah so usually when i'm filming this is what i have going on like my products in front of me my camera my microphone my lights turn them on i have them already plugged in so i don't have to i like to keep everything in one space so that because i can get really clumsy sometimes so and i easily lose stuff sometimes too so i like to try and keep everything in one space so that i don't lose anything because these stuff like i said earlier they paint to buy like they really <sighs> when you're buying them but you need to buy them so i hope you guys liked it comment below if you like anything i don't know but comment below if you like my studio setup or if there's anything that you think i can change i honestly love to take a lot of tips from you guys i feel like you guys know a lot of things that some of us do not know really and honestly this world is a learning process we're all learning i learn from you you learn from me so if you have anything that you want to write below write it below i do read my comments i reply my comments and it just makes us even closer so comment below if you like anything about my studio setup and also like i said i'll leave links to all products wait did i talk about my mirror no i didn't so this is my mirror right this is my favorite mirror i'm just this is the mirror that i use to film my videos and i got this from target so there you guys have it it's really nice really tall I like it because it's tall and it's like adjustable so i can just keep moving it however i'm sitting down or however i want it to position so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next video comment below whatever video you want to see next because i'm picking a lot of ideas from you honestly you guys help a lot because really like i said is the videos that you want to see that's what i want to make so comment below what next video you want to see and i'll be sure to make that thank you bye see you Mwah. <laughs>